Okay, so let's dive uh, deep into one example of the uh, foreign key and also prime key. So and this is uh, important because um, in spatial table, so in spatial data, so when we're talking about the attribute table and also um, and also spatial data, so sometimes we need drawing tables together and that, that is where we need the foreign key and also primary keys. So again, each table must have a primary key and primary key normally is the column or the field that identify or distinguish each record on that table. So for example, people ID will be the primary key on the people table. City ID will be the primary key on the city table. So here we have two primary keys on each table. And foreign key, foreign key means that on that table you have one field that is corresponding to primary key on another table. Okay, so in this case, for example, we have people zero that live in city one, when, and also we have people two who is also live in city one. Okay, so in this case, the foreign key will be city ID, which is on the people table, and that refers to the primary key on another table. Okay. So that is what we call uh, the primary key and also foreign keys. And also keep in mind that you can have one column as primary key, or you can have a combination of multiple columns as the primary key. Okay, so you can have one column as a primary key. You can also have combination of multiple columns as a primary key. So as long as that combination is unique, so you can have multiple columns that serve as a prime key. So that is also called multiple identifier. Okay, so for example, if you want ID, first name, last name together as prime key, you can. But in that case, that's still as one, one prime key that contains three columns. So you can have only one and only one prime key. Uh, you can have zero or multiple foreign keys. Okay. So uh, once we have multiple tables and we can join those tables in relational database. So table join is a very common operation in relational database um, because the way that we design tables in relational database is that we want to reduce data redundancy. So we kind to put information into separate tables. And when we want to enrich the information, when we want to enrich the information, then we need to join those tables together. Okay, so that's why we need to join the tables. Um, and in this week's lab, we are going to join two tables based on a common column. So normally we're joining tables based on a common columns. Okay, so you can join table to itself. So that's called self-join. That is very, very rare. Uh, you can also join tables among multiple tables. Okay, so you can join more than one table, so two tables together. So that is very common. And when we join tables, normally we are join tables based on the common columns between those tables. Okay, uh, so for example, here on the left side, uh, we have object ID, so that is a primary key. And we have a land code, okay? And on the right side, we have the land code and also its description. So for each single land code, what is a what is type of the land? So in on this case, probably the land code is a primary key. And here we have the foreign key, okay? And next, we can join those two tables together based on the common columns, so based on the land code on both tables. So after we join two tables, so here we can see based on the land code, so two join two, zero join zero, and also one join one. And now we have a new table that is joint table. So here our information has been enriched. So for each single object, 
we know the land code and also we know the description, the land type. Okay, so that is the purpose of drawing table. And again, we are joining the tables based on the common columns. And as you see here, that typically we are joining the primary keys to their foreign keys. So we are joining primary keys to their foreign keys. So that's why that we we need we are introducing foreign key and as primary key. So normally when we join tables, we are joining primary keys to foreign keys, or we are joining prime uh, foreign keys to the primary keys. Okay, uh, so relationship. So in the relational database, uh, there are multiple types of the relationships. So the first one is called entity with itself or the table with itself. So that kind of a recursive relationship. Again, that is also uh, very rare. So um, most commonly we are talking about relationship that a relationship are the tables with other tables or are the entities with other entities. So we have three types of the relationships. One-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many relationship, and also many-to-many -many relationship. Okay. Uh, so one-to-one -one relationship means that the entities on one table is related to entities, one entity on the other table. Okay, so one entity on one table, one record on one table can only relate to corresponding another record on another table. Okay, so one example is like, for example, our driver ID and also our social security number. Okay, so each single person has one unique ID and also one unique SSN. So in that case, it is one-to-one -one relationship. Okay, and one-to-many relationship, that means that, so one table, one record on single, on, on one table, have multiple corresponding record on another table. Okay, so one record uh, on one table has correspond multiple records, corresponding records on another table. So that is one-to-many relationship. Um, a common example that in one-to-many relationship, for example, one professor can teach multiple courses. Okay, and one course has only one instructor or only one professor. So for example, this semester I'm teaching three courses. So I340 um, and also GeoGeo215 Geo and also I418. Uh, okay, so I'm teaching three courses. So that is one to many relationship. So here we are ignoring the co teaching uh, scenario. And the lastly, that is many to many relationship. So that means that uh, one record on this table has multiple records on another table. However, uh, another record on this table can have multiple corresponding records on this table. Okay, so this is many to many relationship. Okay, so for example, uh, for example, students have, can enroll to multiple classes. Okay, so some of you, I saw that you are in this uh, class. So um, I know some of you also enrolled to my 340 class. Uh, I don't think any of you enrolled to my 480 class. Okay. And, um, and also one class can have multiple students enrolled. So some of you, so we have multiple students have that enrolled into this class. So like GOG 215. Okay. Uh, so that is many to many uh, relationships.